What was actually the night routine for when you were out on patrols? Well, we didn't actually move at night. Um, as I mentioned, we'd come into a what they call a harbour area which, at, at around about um, half an hour or so before last light. And um, we would then go into a sort of a security routine to make sure that we were safe and wouldn't get surprised. And then we go into what was called Stand 2, which um, everybody uh, is alert, looks out, has their weapons ready, um, and basically, well, they say it's to uh, be prepared to repel anybody if they come and attack you, because theoretically it's first light and last light are sort of quite vulnerable times. The truth is, everybody says that, so nobody ever does it. Um, but what what that routine of going into um, a harbour, going into um, everybody alert, Everybody has, by then, made their little hoochies, one man hoochies to sleep in for the night, dropped them to the ground, got their bedding stuff out. Everything they need for the night is there, but it's then all levelled to the ground and sort of, if necessary, a bit of camouflage, grass or trees or something thrown across the top. And then you stand to, and usually about a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes after last light, when it's actually dark, Everybody's eyes are accustomed, um, and at that stage, those who are going to go onto the first ship of, shift of sentry duty, um, manning the radios, um, and whatever other extraneous requirements might have been identified, they will then take up the first shift. Um, now, and, and that'll then just go on a, on a roster basis right the way through the night until. Um, unless something happens, of course. Um, but that'll go on right the way through the night until just before dawn and first light when everybody will be woken up again. Um, they'll get dressed, boots on, nine times, a, well, nine times a ten. More often than not, you'll sleep with your boots on and, um, and your um, sort of normal daytime gear anyway. Um, and then you'll go through a similar routine, everybody alert, sitting around waiting for the actual light to come. Those two actions at first light and last light really, as I say, rather than being there to defend you if the enemy suddenly attack, really it's a way of creating, if you like, a, a, a break between what you've been doing in the day to that routine at night. Um, so it's a routine establishment period, if you like. But in addition to that, in the actual company area, you may also have, if you've had some activity around the place and identified it during the day, you may well say, well, look, we'll put in an ambush patrol or a reconnaissance patrol, and they will actually go out for the night. And they'll go to a particular location. If it's an ambush, it'll usually be on a track where the enemy will come through. And, um, and they're there the whole night. Um, and they're away from the main group. When the um, routine in the morning um, and any patrols that you might have had out during the night, when they all come back together, you actually then break that little area, that camp that you've had, the harbour, and you'll move away. For much the same reason, remember I mentioned the, um, the helicopter when it came down and landed, straight after that you would move away because it's clearly identified where the helicopter came in. If you've been in a place overnight, you'll get away from there as quickly as you can after first light, just purely to separate yourself, get, give you distance. And it's just an added safety feature. Would you cover up your tracks at all that you'd been there? Um, no, you don't actually cover up your tracks, but what you do is you take a lot of care that you, either, you use either um, natural features so if it's a rocky surface, you'll always tread on the rocks. Or if, there's, uh, if it is jungle, then you will try and pick a natural pathway so that you don't break any of the vegetation, you don't scuff up the vegetation, um, and you try to avoid breaking loose sticks and you know, uh, shrubbery and stuff. So yeah, you take a lot of care not to leave or leave as few signs as possible that you've been there.